Today, I'm going to show you how you can recreate any IKEA furniture in your Magic Plan projects by recreating one of their three seater sofas using 3D and 2D workflows. I'll walk you through the framework for using Magic Plan's Custom Object Manager to prepare all the files you'll need. This feature not only allows you to add and modify objects in your library, but also enables you to present more from your personal set in the Magic Plan app to your customers. Let's get started! Precise measurements are crucial to avoid design mistakes and to plan any room according to your customer's needs. Now let's browse the IKEA website for a three-seater sofa that fits the style I want to recreate. Let's go with this one. It aligns well with what I have in mind. What's great about IKEA is that they list the real dimensions of their products, which can serve as a foundation for crafting 3D and 2D objects. Now I'm going to open AutoCAD to model the 3D version of the sofa, and remember to make sure that the units are set up correctly. I'm going to import the measurement reference I downloaded from the IKEA website and place it here. And now, I'll start with the top view of the sofa as I gradually move to its different sections as you can see here. Finally, I will export the 3 model using AutoCAD's STL format. Now, I'll use the Blender 3D software to convert the STL file that I created using AutoCAD into an OBJ file. Right-click to access the context menu and choose Set Origin and then Geometry to Origin. With the object still selected, use the Move tool to align the feet of the sofa with the floor. Again, right side click to access the context menu and choose Set Origin. Origin to 3D Cursor. Now access the main menu. Choose File, Export, then OBJ. As you can see, the exported OBJ file is larger than 1 megabyte, and in general, the ideal file size should be smaller than 1 megabyte for better performance within the Magic Plan app. Let's reduce the number of vertices on the model using the Decimate modifier. Then access the modifier menu and select the Decimate modifier and start with a 0.5 value on the collapse function and repeat the process as needed. Now, the file is optimized and has the desired size. Now it's time to create a 2D top view representation of the object. First, we would have to export the object's top view as ADWG file from AutoCAD. Next, open Adobe Illustrator and create a new file. After that, import the DWG file into the Illustrator project the object size will adhere to a scale where 1 centimeter is equal to 1 point. And make sure that the stroke weight of the object is set to exactly 1 point. The artboard's dimensions must match the object's size. And once done, Export the Illustrator project as a SUVG file. Now that we have all the necessary files, it's time to use Magic Plan to craft your custom collection with the Custom Object Manager. Go to the Magic Plan cloud and on the left side of the screen select the Custom Objects option. Begin by creating a collection. 
In this case, I will call it living room for my new IKEA furniture collection. Then, select the Create Custom Object button and add a name to the object, the type, and its information by choosing the measurement system and setting the dimension. Now you would have to import the SVG file that we have recently created in the Toot section and use the OBJ file in the 3D section. And there you go. Congratulations! You've successfully created your first custom object. You can now incorporate this object into any of your Magic Plan projects and see it in 2D and 3D. I hope you enjoyed this journey as much as I did. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. For questions or suggestions, drop a comment below. We're eager to hear from you. Until then.